surfed and we love surfing. Yay! Yay! Last summer we were surfing and we saw lots of rubbish when we were surfing and it made us really sad and angry and frustrated. Please do not do that and so we can save the ocean. We all have obligations to this planet and we need to look after it. This is disgusting. This just goes right down the drain. I believe in you. We can do better. Let's look after our home. Keep New Zealand beautiful. Hello, my name's Nicholas. What's your day job? I am currently an elected member for the Whangarei District Council. Where are you from? So, I was born in Kawakawa, but as you can tell by my accent, I moved to Canada when I was um, very young, and my mum's from Canada. When do you get started with your mission to clean up the world? Probably about six years old, I found a bag on the side of the road one day and I started picking up rubbish walking to school. Um, I managed to, I think it was maybe, I found another bag, I think I managed to pick up a couple of bags of rubbish. Um, and I actually got a commendation award from one of the teachers. Why do you pick up rubbish? I pick up rubbish because I know a lot of people won't. There's too much rubbish out there um, that is going to impact the environment, the natural world, the animals, and the seas, the oceans, the beaches, and even our air, that if it breaks down, and like, let's say if we go fishing and we catch a fish and they've eaten plastics, and then we eat that fish that's eaten the plastic, we're eating plastic. Why do you call your group FORCE? <laughs> Our organization, Charitable Trust actually, is called FORCE because we, well actually the, the name came from being able to foresee rubbish actually. As much as I'm a big Star Wars fan um, and the FORCE is one of those things that I absolutely love. And people often say, oh, it's because you like Star Wars. It's actually, well, I, I, have a, I have a bit of a knack to foresee where the rubbish is and in spaces. And we had um, started up the Love Whangarei monthly cleanup. And because the cleanup was there, we needed somebody to be able to actually, who hosts the event. Um, FORCE stands for For Our Real Clean Environment. We're, we're this group and this charitable trust, and we were able to actually apply for funding and whatnot to get gear to be able to support the events, as well as link up with other groups to be able to do more. How do you pick up rubbish with tools or hands? Get some funding from the district council, from other groups, um, to be able to provide high-vis vests, gloves, grabbers, buckets, and the like, and businesses to be able to support us with um, a, a truck to be able to just dis easily dispose of the rubbish as well. How many rubbish bags do you use in a day? Mm. So, as I said with the, as I said with the rubbish cleanups, we try to use buckets rather than bags. Um, we pick up probably at an average event a few hundred kilograms of rubbish. What is the weirdest piece of rubbish you have ever picked up? You know, I hate rubbish. Ooh, the weirdest piece of rubbish I've picked up. It's always an interesting question because a lot of the things that I, a lot of the things that I think are weird Weird, but they're more interesting. Like we were at the top of Parihaka uh, a few months ago now, and we found a little doll that's about this big. And it was a doll, and I found out later on that 
you'd get in a toilet roll and in, in the little giveaways and it was such a strange thing but it was also strange that it was intact and still in good condition so those type of items we actually I, I, I take I save and kind of add to my collection um, other interesting things we found a G-Shock watch I found about and this is this was just walking along the other side of the road one day about $500 worth of coins that were just down a bank 